Okay, let's just go. Oh my gosh, that thing is wild. See ya. Oh my god, I just flew past him. Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to my garage. Went ahead and put the chat back up on the lift, and thanks to the comments, I got some more stuff figured out. So if we head down under the car, I already put the parking brake, so it kind of fell off last time because I never really bolted it down, but that's attached to, I think, the back two wheels over here and over here in the front, so that's nice and working. So let's go ahead and work on steering so, you know, we could actually turn the car. So I think with that one, uh, we have to grab one of these pieces. I think this one right here, the steering arm, and that connects to the frame. Uh, it was somewhere over here. I just saw it. Yep. Let's go ahead and grab our wrench and tighten that up. And I did not put this car very well in the lift. It's a uh, very precarious right there. Should be fine. And then from there, I believe we could kind of start building this. Um, Yeah, I think I could do it in like one piece here. Let's go ahead and do that. That one over there. And then that should just kind of attach to the middle. There we go. So bolt there and another one on this side, I believe. Oh my gosh, that's really wobbly. You do not want to see that when you're under a car. And then we got another bolt right here and should be the same thing on the other side. Okay, I think that's actually pretty much it for the steering. Let's go ahead and put the wheels back on and see if it turns or not. All right, I think we should be able to test this without even turning on the car. So we just do that all the way to the left. And yeah, we finally have steering. Okay. Oh man, that's such a huge relief. So we're almost done. Um, now it's just kind of all the internals. So I think of like lights, some body panels, all the good stuff, which I think luckily shouldn't be too bad. I think it's a lot harder to mess that stuff up. I don't even know where to get started with that. All right, went ahead and pushed the car back just a little. Let's see what we even have here. I think I literally just have two doors and the hood. Um, probably want to change some of these little kind of interior panels. I don't know if these even have uh, windows in them. I don't think they do. Because I think it's supposed to have the little little thing in there. It's kind of, it's really hard to tell actually. Um, I know for sure I have to change the hood because we got that giant blower there. So I think we could go ahead and just kind of toss that. And yeah, let's head over to the catalog and just kind of see what's there. Yeah, I kind of think most of this stuff is just for welding as far as I can tell. But I think the one thing we need from here is definitely the hood blower. So let's go ahead and buy that. Definitely going to have to paint that. But it should be nice. I just want to see how it fits right now. Oh, that's going to look awesome. Okay, okay. So let's put that to the side. I already have some paint over here. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's just leave that ready there. And then I guess it's a lot of panels, mostly. Let's check on those. I think those are the interior, as we saw. So yeah, we got the front left and front right. Um, One of these has something. Doesn't seem too bad. So I think we'll hold on to that one just by the driver's side one. So front left, I believe. Oh, they're going to be completely different colors, though. All right, I guess we're buying another one, too. Let's get that. I know for sure I need these two door panels there. So let's get that and that. Do we have a glove box? I don't think we do. No, we do not. Oh yeah, because I bought the whole um, kind of cluster there. So let's get one of those. I know for sure we don't have the mirror. I'm not even sure about the headliner. I think we might. Oh, we do have a mirror. Is this supposed to look like that? Um. Okay, hold on. I think this is a pretty good place to start right here. So we got our glove box. Let's go ahead and put that in. Is that screws or bolts? I think screws. Let's just leave both of these right there. And let's tighten that up there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's kind of like a leather look or vinyl wrap maybe. And then I think our mirror actually isn't all that bad. Yeah, so now we just kind of have an extra. That's fine. Uh, just going to put down the power parts over here. And then let's go ahead and move on to some other things. So we got these interior panels, which I think go back here. Yeah, okay. And that's going to be a bolt there. And same thing on the other side. So let's get to those. Put that right there, grab that wrench, and tighten them up. Okay, slowly taking shape. Oh, that's going to look really cool once we get everything else in there. Let's go ahead and grab this one and switch out the door panels. And I got to say, actually, I think this black or darker color looks a little bit better. All right, hold on. I'm kind of really feeling that these don't have um, glass in them. So I think there's like a whole section. Yeah, have windows here. So window front left. Let's go ahead and buy one of those. And then I think we need the window lift, front left as well. And I think that should be okay, at least for right now. Oh, we still have to do all the kind of wiper motors and all that. Oh yeah, we didn't have it. It's letting me attach it. Okay, so we got to actually build 
the window itself. Oh, that's so cool. So that goes there. Two bolts, I believe. One there and one there. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, because we didn't even have the little handle there. Okay, let's grab the actual glass. That'd be kind of amazing if you could break the glass on accident. Oh, I think maybe I had to put the glass first, right? Is that in? I don't think that's in. Oh, oh, it attached to that first. Ah, okay. Good thing these things aren't getting dented. And then that goes in there. Yeah, okay, okay. I think that's pretty much it for the door. Let's just put that back on there and tighten that up. And yeah, that's looking actually pretty dang good. So then we could put this on the car on this side. Yep, yep, yep. And just a couple bolts on the side here. Ooh, okay, that's looking pretty sweet. And then let's see if we could roll up that window. Oh, I have to use a mouse wheel. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can kind of see it lowering very slowly on the top left. Okay, let's just raise that up. I didn't even notice it was there. Okay. So definitely not electronic, but it works. It works. Ooh, I think we're also missing a rear window right there and apparently I need to spray paint that I, I don't know how but apparently we have to all right let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other door so front right front right and then I guess all these so window right rear left rear right oh maybe I brought the front window window small front left I guess we're just kind of buying everything there oh yeah this was the front window okay so we didn't need that one uh, again just gonna put in the pile over here Oh, okay. It's, it's through the wall. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Okay, that's the other door complete. Oh, I think that's the glass I'm missing. This one right here, this little triangle and the back ones. Does the other one have it? Okay, so this has the front left one. Just needs a front right. I could have sworn I just bought those, but I'm not seeing them on the ground, right? Am I... Are, am, oh, there my gosh. They're so tiny. <laughs> oh, okay. They just kind of blend in with the ground there, apparently. So I think this one maybe just goes... Over here? Yeah. Um, does that not tie it in? I feel like it does. Oh, that's so weird. I feel like it really should tie it into something. That's actually kind of concerning. I like how I just waddled over here to the office. Uh, apparently there's more glass over here. Small front left. Okay, so I think this is a little corner one for that side. Again, just an extra, so we'll put it over here. Please don't glitch through the wall. Front right. Okay, so that goes right there. And yeah, this one has a bolt. So I think the other one in the back should definitely have one. I'm just not sure where. Oh, right there, right there. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Crisis averted. Let's just grab the last piece somewhere over here. So I think that's all the windows done. Let's go ahead and close it up just to take a quick look. Um, Why does that have that gap? Oh, maybe I need that interior lining. Hold on. Let's check up on that. Oh yeah, over here in the interior, so headliner. Uh, let's go ahead and buy that. I mean, it's cheap enough, only 161. And I think that might fill in some of those gaps, no? Hold on, maybe we have to take off the mirror, because this game sometimes won't let you put stuff if you put it in the wrong order. Oh yeah, okay. But I mean, if it lets me tie it in it, yeah, I think we're good, because now it's not giving me the option to click the headliner. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and do the hood next. Just grab that, plop that on, and four bolts there. I mean, if I really wanted to, I feel like I could drive this already kind of as is. I think we're definitely missing some wiper blades, wiper motor, and then definitely all the headlights over here. So let's move on to that next. So I think that's all going to be over here in accessories. So headlights, let's get two of those. I think there should be four, though. Uh, let's get two wipers. Oh, we could choose colors. We could get all black or kind of chromed out look. And then definitely need mirrors for the side. So let's get those two. Tail lights were fine. Um, Seems like there's probably a lot of little trim there. Let's get wiper motor and the blades themselves. Oh, yeah, and there's even different headlights. So we could get blacked out or chromed or rally, apparently. All right, these mirrors should be simple enough, I think. Okay, so just two bolts there and same thing on the other side. And then let's see how these headlights work. I would assume I needed a housing, but apparently not and uses a screwdriver to tie it in down. Is there not some sort of wiring I have to do? And it looks like I could have a secondary one there. Hold on, let's double check with this one. Oh yeah, I could put both there. I wonder how those rally headlights are then. Okay, either way, that's tied in there, so we definitely have to get two more. Let's do that really quickly. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's not letting me attach it to this side for whatever reason. Um. Oh, that's really weird. What the heck? 
Okay, that's really concerning. Um, I did go ahead and quit and reload just to see if that would fix it, but apparently not. Either way, let's just kind of move on. Uh, I don't think I'll do a whole lot of night driving, and I guess we'll have half of it to, to kind of work. So let's go ahead and put the wiper motor first. So just three bolts over here. All right, let's close that. And then, oh, I think these are from kind of the inside, maybe? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, maybe I did this a little out of order. So you can put that one there. Oh, no, it's just a bolt on top. And yeah, definitely no wipers as far as I can tell. Let's see. Oh, I saw a check mark there for a second. And does that not tie it in? Apparently not. Okay. Okay, what else are we actually missing other than the headlights? Because those apparently just do not want to go on. Yeah, I'm not getting any check mark. I'm assuming that's just a little bug. Or maybe it's trying to tell me it's out of, uh... I have spec somehow. Can I just hammer the crud out of it? I'm a little worried I'm going to mess something up, but, um... No, that's not doing anything. Okay, hold on. Let's just take a quick seat here. And, oh, I'm missing the little sun visors right there. Um, I don't think I'm going to put the other seats in. Uh, trying to do a little bit of, you know, weight reduction, so to speak. But I think we might be good. Yeah, let me just get those visors really quickly. I think that's the last thing. All right, went ahead and slept to make sure the rain would pass, but I think we're pretty much 100% complete here. If we go into the little menu, everything's actually five stars now. The car's worth 24,000. Although I think we did spend a little bit more than that, but I think the game does say putting performance parts and all that doesn't really increase the value. So we kind of overspent, but we paid for the performance, I guess. I went ahead and double checked fluids, so I think we're pretty much good to go. Tires look still pretty good. Um, again, I really wish this game would tell you the PSI of everything. Let me just put some stuff in the back just to be kind of safe. So let's go ahead and take our air pump just in case. I don't know. We get a flat. Oh, wait, hold on. Why is there a check mark? Does this have a little spot for that? I have no idea where it went. Oh, it attaches back here. Ooh, that's so cool. Maybe we should bring a spare tire, even though this one's pretty much bald. Um, yeah, maybe not. It's fine. It's fine. Just grab a little bit of oil there. And I think we're good to do our first real test drive of the car. Oh, man, I'm so excited. <laughs> a little worried I might damage it or something, but I think we're good. Okay, let's really test this thing out. All right, parking brake is off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, it starts up like a champ. Okay, let's go into reversed. Really got to be careful with the wall here. Do not want to damage this. Oh, this thing has so much power, though. I can already feel it. Ooh. Hold on. Let's get to that highway to really test out. Oh, my gosh. This thing's kind of wild. I'm only in first gear, already doing 30. I feel like I need a better speedometer. I don't think this is going to be enough here. Oh, wait. No, those are RPMs. Okay, never mind. I think we're good. Ooh, that sounded wild. Oops. Kind of sounded bad, actually. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Oh my gosh, that thing's wild. See ya. Oh my god, I just flew past him. Oh my goodness. Good thing I got that five speed because we are absolutely maxing it out. Oh my gosh, we, we did a loop. I love that <laughs> speedometer. Okay, let's slow down. This is ridiculous. Oh gosh, my brakes are not working. I am holding the brakes completely and nothing's happening i mean we're slowing down but not really uh-oh oh my goodness good thing i found that out right now um <laughs> that's not how you want to find out your brakes don't work <laughs> yeah i'm holding back as much as i can okay i'm holding space oh okay because i think that's the parking brake when you do that okay stalled out hey don't hit me 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 bro he tapped me. Going to first gear. And, um, okay, back to the shop. I did want to go straight over to the the little drag race or one of those races, but, um, yeah, it seems like we have some other issues to kind of figure it out. Is this supposed to sound like that? I feel like I'm not hearing the blower anymore. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so definitely messed something up with the brakes. <laughs> but man, this thing has some ridiculous power. I mean, I guess it's fine for the, the drag race. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh my gosh. 
Sorry, just did like a burnout turn in front of the dude. Jeez. Okay. So, what went wrong here? <gasps> okay. That's one way to stop the car. What the heck? Okay, this thing kind of has a mind of its own, if I'm being honest. Oh, stop, 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 stop. What the heck? Oh, that's so weird. It kind of, uh... Goes forward on its own or reverse? Uh-oh. I have no idea what that could be. Yeah, our brake fluid's completely out. Okay, maybe it's leaking. Because I could have sworn I just filled that up. Hold on, let me buy some more over here at the little gas station. Um, so maybe I do just have to bleed them, or... Maybe somehow something's not tight. That's my second guess. Because yeah, now when I brake, it kind of goes... Oh, that's kind of weird with the clutch right there. It's kind of acting up. See, I'm going backwards when I really shouldn't. I'm not clicking anything there. It kind of just does its own thing for whatever reason. Oh yeah, it's like accelerating forward. Okay, but brakes did kind of work. And yeah, let's see what's up. Maybe, maybe it just needs a little bit of tightening somewhere. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So I'm assuming maybe just one of these points is somehow loose. Let's just double check everything. I mean, this one seems a little wonky there, if I'm being honest. Uh... Yeah, that's a pretty big gap there, but I think they're all kind of like that. It's just how the game is. So those two are good. Let's just move our way back. So that one's good there. That one's good there. Are you the culprit? Oh, that's so weird. It's just, uh... It's just leaking? Hold on, where else... Does that line go? I mean, it can't really go anywhere else. All right, maybe I really just do need to bleed it. Let's go ahead and put the tires back on, lower it down, and kind of just press on the brake pedal, <laughs> I guess. Because, yeah, it looks like it went down even more. So, currently pumping the brake pedal. All right, let's see if that changed anything there. Did it go down? No, it seems kind of normal right now. And everything else seems to be actually running pretty normal. Oh, I think you could... Oh, that's so we could kind of mess with the throttle right there. That's cool. Love the attention to detail in this game. Um, I mean, I guess I could always just buy more brake fluid as we need it. Let's see. Oh, this is... This is really risky here. Hmm. Okay, brake test. Okay, yeah, that's working. Let's just do a quick tiny loop around here. We'll check the garage again. Just to see if it's still going down. Gosh, this thing's... Absolutely wild to control. Oh gosh, hey bro, we I don't think we both fit here. And yeah, that's almost depleted again. What the heck? Oh, I definitely have a leak. I just don't know what. Everything should be like brand new. So this is very, very strange. Alright, just double checked everything. I went ahead and loosened and then retightened all the bolts and stuff. So if that doesn't fix it, I'm really not sure. I'll just grab a couple bottles. Alright, let's grab three of those. And just hold on to them. I might as well get some snacks while I'm here. Because I did want to do at least one of the races today. I think the drag strip one might be the most appropriate. Let's put the cat back on. And I guess we're just going to have to hope for the best here. Hold on. Maybe before I leave, I should check if I have to maybe sign up for the races. Or if you just kind of show up, you know? Let's see. Because there's this little paper here. Yeah, it just says races. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're just going to the airfield, apparently. Hopefully in one piece. Yeah, it seems like the brakes work for about like 20 seconds and then from that point on we're just kind of relying on the handbrake. But geez, we got some crazy acceleration here. Okay, let's not push it too crazy. Yeah, brakes are still working for now. Oh, I did forget to put gas. Um, I don't even know where we are on that thing. Probably less than a quarter? Oh man. Isn't there one on the way? I think there's like one around the corner. Or yeah, there's one over there. Okay, I think we can make it there. I really hope so famous last words oh man this looks so cool from the outside i i normally don't really like this camera angle in this game but oh that's so cool oh and only one of my brake lights work oh i think i forgot to put bulbs in the new one i think that's what happened okay i think we have a gas station coming up very soon over here oh that was a that was kind of a harsh turn <laughs> uh should be fine though where is that gas station ah it's over there to the right i see it, i see it um oh oh this is not controlling how i thought it would oh okay stalled it out that's a little bad. Yeah, I really prefer to be in first person in this game. Okay, there we go. Engine's back on. Let's just make it to the gas station.
And brakes are gone! Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, kind of forgot about that. You know, I wish this game kind of had uh, the feature from Junkyard Truck where you could take it to the mechanic, at least for some of the basic stuff. Where it'd be like, hey, your brake system's wrong and here's the problem. Okay, you know? Well, either way, here we are. Let's go ahead and stop there. Oh, that's such a weird thing. Someone in the comments probably knows. Maybe I just needed to replace the master cylinder again. I mean, that's probably the most likely if everything else is new. Yeah, I have no idea how much this takes. Um... 64 liters sounds like a lot to me. I'm American, so, you know, I go buy gallons and stuff, so... Uh, let's see how much that did. And if that was the right gas. Oh, yeah, it's like three-fourths full. Okay, that's kind of perfect. So, I think we turn somewhere over here, and yeah, you can kind of see a hanger there. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Really dangerous, but cool. Alright, um... Just going to cut across here. Oh, good thing I didn't take any damage there. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay, what do I do here? So I think it's somewhere around this little corner. Oh my gosh. This thing is wild. And the brakes are gone now. Good to know. Okay, so what, what do I do here? There's someone I'm supposed to wait. Okay, this car is not stopping. I wonder if that's a transmission thing too. Oh, hold on. Okay, so at the bottom over here it says press enter to participate in quarter mile drag. Oh, go to start location when ready? Oh, interesting, interesting. Oh, there's like a whole box here. Oh, this is wild. Okay. Okay, let's click enter. Turn the handbrake off. Turn the car on. Oh. Oh, okay. Guess we're just going for it. Let's see. Okay, decent shifting. Kind of just going when it gets to 6,000 RPMs. How good is that? Ooh, 11 seconds. I don't think that's actually all that bad. Ooh, okay. I don't know if we could do much better than that, if I'm being honest. So press enter to close. Oh, did not mean to get out of the seat. Okay, did I win anything? I think it's just more so for our own reference, if I'm being honest. Oh, finishing faster than time to beat will grant rewards. Okay, so maybe we just weren't fast enough on that one. Um, I guess we could try one more. Have a little bit more brake fluid. If not, we'll just kind of rely on the handbrake as usual. So let's go ahead and try that again. And yeah, it says time to beat is 10 seconds. So I guess that makes sense. Let's get inside. Hold on. Go ahead and start it up. Turn off that handbrake. Three, two, go! Okay, better launch, I think really trying to do good shifts here keep it straight keep it straight and yeah no we're not going all that much faster and actually oh I think I I don't think I launched that well I think I jumped the gun uh oh yeah cuz it's still showing it over there somehow I think I was a little bit too far forward on the starting line okay let's try one more if I have to use a parking brake to stop that's fine cuz yeah, I think it's just about to be gone. So I think we have to be at least in this little box before starting. And then as we get close to the second one, that's when it kind of starts the timer, I think. I think that's how it works. I think I turned my hazards on. Why is this not closing well? Hold on! Oh, I'm not even... The car's not even on, bro. Okay, we're gonna have to do that again. Okay, yeah, I gotta really make this quick as soon as I'm in this little box. Gotta get there. Handbrake off. Turn the car on. I do not need the wipers on. Oh, why is it going forward? Oh my gosh, this freaking game. Or car. Yeah, I'm just sliding forward, apparently. Alright, so let's get in the box. We're in neutral right now. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go for it. I think that was okay-ish. Oh, that's quite the distance to go, though. Oh, we might be close. Uh, okay, that was a little bit better. So 1092. Yeah, so that's going to take a little bit of getting used to to try to really do that under 10. Um, I don't think there's actually too much more power we can really have in this car. I could uh, kind of assume the blower engine's kind of the fastest. So it's just kind of more on me, my driving, shifting. And I think having a good launch would help tremendously. But it's kind of hard to do that without brakes. So definitely got to figure that out. But man, I'm just happy that the car even runs that thing's absolutely brutal so yeah like always thanks for watching and see you next time